Hello, hello. Now today I wanted to try something that I've not really had much luck with in the past, which is a planted tank. My lighting's a little bit better now on the tanks itself. So I'm hoping now that the plants might have a better chance of photosynthesizing, that they might be a bit more successful. I've got so many plants that I've had sitting on my windowsill, just kind of growing just in case. So I might as well start using them. I bought a few extra and I just wanted to have sort of a heavily planted tank, mainly just to see how it gets on and if it actually survives. Ideally, I'd love to have a really big tank just filled with different plants so I can kind of propagate them and then take them out as and when I need them for the different enclosures that I've got. But until I can nail down actually keeping plants alive, it just feels a bit pointless. So what we'll do then, we'll have a look in here, see what we can do and just fill this tank with plants. And then we can probably move a little mantis in there too at some point. So as we can see, we've got loads of different types of plants here that I've picked up over time and they all seem to be growing just fine but that is sitting on a window ledge so they do get a lot more light but I have more than enough here so let's pick some out and see what we can do don't ask me any of these plants names I'm not very good with that kind of thing I know a few of them but for the most part I just pick up what looks good so these plants have been quarantined for a while just from sitting on that window box for a, some time They seem to have actually been growing surprisingly well. Kind of have the feeling that I'm going to get this nice lush enclosure and then after a couple of weeks it will slowly die off. But you never know. I thought that about my scorpion tank and it did die off. But then I put some pothos in and it's actually growing really well. That's kind of the first success I've actually had with a plant. I mean, I know pothos is a more forgiving plant when it comes to enclosures but it'd be good to have some variety and kind of know what what i can use and what i can't so i know this one i think let me double check yeah this is pepperonia is that how it's spelled pepperonia not pepperonia that's something else and i don't want anything to grow too crazy at the very front of the tank because it's just going to cloud what else is in whatever else is in there i mean i can keep it trimmed down that's fine if it does go too crazy so i'd like to have some moss across the front here but i just never have any luck with moss it just doesn't seem to stay alive i don't know why that is something i'm doing wrong whether it's what i'm watering it with or just the fact that because it's british moss and it's indoors it's too warm in here or something i, I don't really know i got this ficus pumula, which was really hard to find. I know a lot of people use that because it kind of looks like a little, a small ivy, so it's quite suiting for terrariums or vivariums or whatever. I don't know, that looks kind of big. Changed my mind with this peperonia. And it's going to come to the front. And whatever this is, is going to go at the back. keep calling it pepperonia, it's pepperomia. I don't think this would taste very nice on a pizza. Oh, I really wish I could have some moss in the front, but I think we'll have to put something else in there. Okay, I'll put this ivy looking thing in the middle. I hope it doesn't go too crazy. That's my only worry with that one. But hey, I can, I can keep stuff trimmed, can't I? With my expert plant knowledge, I'm sure I can keep it under control. Hmm. Well, that looks okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we just need some more in the bottom here to cover up the substrate and make some interesting contours around the plants. So I'm going to have a look and see what I have in my various boxes that we can fill the rest of this space in with. Right, I've got a few bits and bobs here. I don't want to use anything too dark though because I think it will take away from it. A lot of my tanks are more sort of dead leaves and brown colours so I think it'd be really nice to stick with the green theme. So I don't have any moss but I do have some reindeer moss which I don't know what this is. Whether it's like synthesised or whether it's actually alive because it just seems to hold its colour. I mean this has been in a bag for like nine months and it's still got its nice green colours. So let's use that on the front and the, actually no, first, I'm gonna use some coconut husks just to frame some of these plants. I've got a few seed pods. 
These seed pods are great, but even though you, you might think they're dead, a lot of them will kind of close up and open up with uh, humidity or heat. And I had it on my pink dragon millipede thing. I mean, thankfully I noticed it, but in my pink dragon millipede enclosure, I'd put a seed pod in there and then overnight in the moisture in the enclosure, it actually expanded and popped the lid off the tank. Thankfully I noticed and none got out, but yeah, we don't want that happening if we can avoid it for sure. Cool, that's looking good. So let's get our reindeer moss in. Definitely gonna have to get more of this stuff because it's just great for a moss substitute. I mean, it is moss, I presume. It's called reindeer moss. But it's just the way it holds its color so well. I mean, I think this stuff is primarily used on sort of miniature railway construction and dioramas and things to make little trees out of. Um, I've actually done that in one of my other enclosures, made a little tree. Awesome, really happy with that. Maybe that shows it off a bit better. If I get a bit of a background. Yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. Um, I've left it a little bit blank at the top just because I know it's stuff's obviously gonna grow and fill that out a little bit more. So I don't wanna go too crazy. Um, I say it'll grow, hopefully it'll grow with my pro gardening. The only thing is I kind of wish that I'd put a background in just to frame everything a bit better and help it show up. But it's done now and it might look okay because it's gonna have a blank wall behind it. So it should, should still look fairly presentable. I've got some springtails in there so they should keep on top of some of the detritus. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll have a nice luscious tank for whatever lucky mantid goes in here. And on the top of this, I've got one of my patented netted lids. So if the mantis does want to hang from something and can't grip onto the leaves or anything, he can still get up on here. I'm not going to put anything in here just yet because I do have about three or four rehouses that I need to do. So I'm going to save that and do them all at once. So stay tuned if you want to see who we're going to be putting in here. And for now, that's everything. So thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to check this out. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content like this, please consider dropping me a sub and I'll see you on the next one.